When I started to st study at School of Journalism, uh, as a writing journalist, uh, I was uh, finding out it was not a job for me. You know, the writing never ended. You always can make a piece better. So, um, and with, uh, there was a guy uh, who teaches photography and he said to me, come to, come to my lessons. And from the first second on, when I got the camera in my hand, um, I felt comfortable. The decision to, yeah, to become a photographer was because in 1982 or 83, I told you I went to the, for the first time to this uh, modern classical ballet and the choreographer of that was Hans van Maanen. Um, he, he, I had to photograph him for a uh, gay magazine. I was volunteer because everybody was unemployed in the beginning of the 80s. And uh, when I came in, he said, you can photograph me if I can photograph you. And, uh, and he was an, a very good amateur photographer, very good friend of Robert Mapplethorpe, and uh, one of the first buyers of, of the works of Mapplethorpe. And he showed me the work, his whole house was full of Joe Peter Witkin, uh, Mapplethorpe, George Platt Lines, uh, I was already interested because I was working for Gay Pie here, the gay magazine, and there was a magazine that was also a gay, uh, glossy, and I was, uh, therefore I knew the work of Pierre and Gilles, uh, and then I, I was so fascinated, especially by the work of uh, Witkin and, 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 and Mapplethorpe, and I just bought an, um, a Hasselblad camera, and then and that is the camera also Mapplethorpe works with, and Hans van Maanen was working with. And he teach me, you know, uh, how to use it in a way. To think very simple, uh, take away, you, that you didn't need a huge studio. Really? When I started to work with the Hasselblad, because it's a slow camera, you have to think more and you have to compose more. And then I, I did, yeah, then, then the, the love was growing. The, the, the focus was exactly, and I could realize my fantasy. And that was for me a very, uh, very uh, decisive moment that uh, I could create my own world um, because of technique, because of artificial light, because of a, a, a camera that was at a good uh, quality, you know, the quality I was looking for, and the quietness of a studio and not the street, you know, when you are a photojournalist, you're still following reality. Once in a while, I need to make what I think should be made, because this is very important, that you're not only working for money, eh? but to, to photograph my own uh, fantasies. So to, and then I start to make, uh, yeah, slowly make my own work. It's easy to say, follow your passion, you know, of course you should do that because it's only one life you have, and you have to take uh, out of it what's in it. Yeah? But not be foolish, you know. But you have, in, you have to follow your, your heart. And you, uh, to do that, you have to find a technique. <clears throat> Subjects are enough in your head, I think. Yeah? But you have to find a technique in which you can express yourself the best. And if you have found that technique, I talk now about photography or film, stay close to that te te technique for at least five years. Because people are slow in understanding. And you are quick. After a half a year, you think, oh, I'm going to change, I'm going to do something different. But that doesn't work like that. The best artists are recognizable by their technique. And their expression is secondary. Slowly, I'm leaving the path of only doing photography because I'm, it fits exactly in what I'm uh, thinking of the last few years, is to create an atmosphere, to create an environment, huh, that you walk into an exhibition, you hear the music, slowly you are drawn into the, <coughs> into the <coughs> installation, and the film, music, and uh, sound, uh, and, and photography are influencing each other, and how you... Uh, yeah, appreciate uh, the installation or how you, 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 you can get a little deeper in your brains. 
And that's also what you can do with an exhibition. You cre can create a world, an emotion.